moving on to other news now. Muslim Brotherhood beat, kidnap, child. Muslim Brotherhood supporters in the streets of Egypt are seen beating and kidnapping a young boy. Let's go to the clip. <laughs> So basically we have no idea what happened to that boy after he was abducted, as you saw in the clip, or indeed what egregious crime he was supposed to have committed in the eyes of those Muslim Brotherhood supporters. So this is another one of the stories, developments in Egypt that has fallen off the radar to a large extent as you know the focus has been on Zimmerman in the United States. Because last night seven people were killed and 400 injured in Cairo as a result of continued confrontations between pro Mohammed Morsi protesters and the Egyptian military. On Friday, the Obama administration called for the release of Morsi, so they seem to be putting their ducks in order back behind the Muslim Brotherhood again. Of course, we know that the original coup that saw Morsi come to power was State Department backed years in advance. And then also a few days ago, USS San Antonio and the USS Kearsage were moved closer to Egypt directly as a consequence of the still unfolding crisis in that country. So, you know, that doesn't mean the US military is pre preparing for an intervention, but it certainly means that the situation in Egypt remains fluid. And of course, we know that the Egyptian military is funded to the tune of $1.3 billion a year by the US military. So they've got a dog in the fight on both sides of the game. They back the Muslim Brotherhood. They've also backed the Egyptian military with over a billion dollars a year. But given the brutality of the Muslim Brotherhood, which of course is a lesser version of the jihadists, the extremists, the Obama administration is currently backing in Syria, let's hope the situation in Egypt doesn't descend into another Algerian-style civil war, because if you, if you research that back 20 years ago, it was a very similar situation. It was a clash between the government and extremist Muslim groups within the country. And uh, I believe around 200,000 people ended up dying as a result of that civil war. But you've also got the Al-Nur party in Egypt, which is a Salafist ally of the Muslim Brotherhood. And that's now playing an influential role in this interim Egyptian government. And many people fear that they could become even worse than the Muslim Brotherhood if they get into power. On the flip side, you've got Mohammed al Baradei, who, of course, is a George Soros Foundation stooge. So the U.S. seems to have all bases covered currently in Egypt as the situation continues to unfold. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.